the same lines. <laughs> there's, a, there's a part in this, you'll know when it, you'll probably know when it comes up. I always forget this part, so I'm gonna read that one. Okay. She who perceives calamities suffers them twice over. Did this be why it seems I'm always tossing over in my sheets? Shaking away from trains that are more like nightmares? Nightmares that are far scarier than monsters, murderers, or maniacs. I'd stand in line to face my fears at the movie theater, but I can hardly stand to face myself. When I look into the mirror, I'm never looking back. I can't look myself in the eyes and say, honestly, I'm doing fine. Because I ain't doing anything but fine. Sometimes, I feel like I'm doing nothing at all. Thinking of the big picture makes me feel so small, but I never learned to think any other way but larger than life. But when you hold a magnifying glass up to life, the good in the world seems outweighed by strife. She who foresees calamity suffers twice. One side of empathy. Not words of sympathy, but longing for solidarity. I won't say I know how you feel, but trust me, I do feel you. I feel a child die of hunger every four seconds. I feel a woman being assaulted every nine. I feel the weight of the world is beckoning to me to some life is being more than just mine. And I don't quite know what to do, but I do feel you. One side of empathy. It was because she saw it coming. Like the storm clouds above, that the whole world would see if they would only look up. But we all fear the sun. Comfortable in the dark, we're afraid of what the light might reveal. We're afraid that these people are real. We keep them faceless so we don't have to face them. If they dare show their faces, we're so quick to shame them. We'd rather blame the victim than fix a system that we all know is broken. We blame society without realizing that society is you and me. We are the change that we seek. These are the lives that we lead. Making excuses to justify injustices, speaking about tragedy as if it's inevitable, talking about instead of two people as if they are invisible. Meanwhile, the sick live near hospitals, the starving work on farms, the homeless live near mini malls, and the addicts live behind bars. They die 